Thanks for watching and uh, coming back to the channel. Uh, today I wanted to go over some quick um, ways that I built my turbo system using stock factory manifolds and kind of show how it's laid out so someone could do this with their stock manifolds. Um, kind of just going over the basics right now. In the future I hope to have another project, um, preferably a Bronco um, with a, probably a 351 if I can find one. Uh, Another thing I thought would be cool would be a straight six uh, with manual transmission, but I want to do another turbo project and just kind of do an overview and a whole video on how I do the build. Uh, but this first video here is just going to be a uh, intro on how I routed the exhaust and how I built the exhaust. Okay, so here we have some stock exhaust manifolds. Um, these are this; these two are passenger side. This one's driver side. Um, so if the vehicle is facing this way, these ones will be running out this way, this one would be running out this way. So what I do, uh, oh, and also there's a couple different type of manifolds. Um, these ones are the 88, I think to 91 or 92, um, but they don't have the air injection on them. Um, so this is what I use for mine because they have the ports are a little bit bigger. I have the later late model heads on my truck, um, but these work just fine for that. Uh, so this is a passenger side manifold. And then this one here is also a passenger side, but a air injected. So it's got those little holes underneath the ports. Um, it's got a long runner that runs down through the end. It's basically like a tube that runs through here. And then I remove the belt or the, the fitting that was right there. Um, so you, these would work fine. I would just block this off or weld it up and probably weld these up. Um, or you could get creative and put like EGT probes or something in there. That'd be kind of cool, but they're definitely usable. And this is one that I didn't end up using. Um, but this is a driver side that I had prepped to turn into a turbo manifold and I still can use it for that. But basically take my cutoff wheel or chop saw. Um, I didn't use plasma cutter on this because I didn't want to mess with the cast. I didn't know how it would affect the cast and make it brittle or whatever. Um, so I just used a cutoff wheel on this. I could be completely wrong and it doesn't matter, but that's what I did. Um, so essentially you cut off this chunk here, which is the elbow. If, the, if it was running out the on the truck, it would run out back and then to the Y pipe. So this one's now going to get chopped, and then you're going to weld an elbow onto here that would snake around and run the exhaust kind of back up. So it, it would go up and then up, and this would sit on the passenger side facing forward. So you're, I'll show you on my truck, and it'll make more sense. But this is basically all you need to do is chop this guy build an elbow. Uh, I use mild steel. And then with these, I, to weld cast, um, I use a high nickel wire. And then I basically heat these up as hard as I can get them, like 700 degrees, weld it to the mild steel. And then I submerged them in sand and covered them with, with a uh, welding blanket to keep the heat and let it cool down slowly, which prevents it from cracking. But I did a ton of testing with welding cast. Um, and I've had really good results. These stock manifolds weld nice. I've welded some LS manifolds before, uh, building turbo systems, and it's uh, this this works just as good. Okay, so now to the truck. So stock. So you can see it here. Stock exhaust manifold that I coated in some high temp black paint. Uh, VHT stuff, but it's coming off. Um, probably user error, to be honest. So, st stock manifold running back. There's another view of it. And then I, I reused the stock um, connector right there. You can buy those just on 
what Rock Auto or O'Reilly's or whatever. Uh, so that runs down. So from that stock connector, stock cell connector, it runs down. The EGR, I made just a little cut off uh, or flat plate, welded it on so it's nice and airtight. Um, so if you were using the later style heads, uh, you do the same thing. You can block off that air port. Um, you just want to get the manifold nice and hot before you weld it so you don't have any cracking of your weld, but you can, my welds have not cracked. Everything's still working perfect. Um, okay, so coming off driver's side, coming around just like it normally would, and then normally you'd have your exhaust run back. Um, so this crossover comes up. This is where I mounted one of my wastegates, um, and I this square right here is a reinforced um, piece of tubing just so that there's no not a lot of weight hanging off this. It doesn't have any issues. Um, so one 60 millimeter wastegate, and then crossover tube comes up, goes to up through here to a flange, and then I I built my system to run a true twin scroll. So it's instead of one pipe merging into the other, this is the bottom of the passenger side manifold. Instead of one, the, this pipe merging in with that pipe and then running a single pipe, I kept it separate. Um, so let me go around to, to the top of the truck and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is the driver's side pipe that was coming up. I was showing you underneath the truck. Uh, this comes up here and then runs along just like this. I put a flex pipe in for the heat. Uh, this is one of those vibrant, it's a good quality flux pipe made for turbo systems. And then this guy, so this is still the driver's side, comes up and round up into the turbo. Passenger side manifold, right here, stock location. So, bolts on just like it would. There's enough room for my, to get to the spark plugs and get everything out just fine. So, passenger side manifold comes up. There's a V-band here so I can take it all apart, but this is basically just an elbow that comes off of, let me grab a light. So we got our passenger manifold. It's a driver's side manifold flipped around backwards. So it's exiting to the front and then you can see I welded that plate right where the light's shining, and then it snakes it up and it runs up. So just like that, and then now V-band, and then up into the other side of the turbo. This has its own wastegate also, so each bank has its own wastegate. It's another 60 millimeter VS Racing wastegate, and then they run into the bottom of the turbo. Then up top we got turbos mounted, down pipe. So up where the turbos as used to be where the battery used to be. So I removed the battery, relocated it to the bed, chopped my plastic fender so that it, my inner fender so that it would um, still give me some protection. You can see there's the two up pipes coming into the turbo. And then this is a support for the turbo. It just goes to the turbo flange and then to my valve cover. The valve cover has these little factory holes on, e on both sides. So I tapped one of them to mount that support to and then just put a, a threaded uh, Allen bolt into it. So that makes everything just super rock solid um, with the engine. And that's most of the turbo system. So the downpipe runs um, off the back of the turbo. It's a, this is an S475 turbo. So it's a five inch Marmon flange down to a four inch reducer, four inch down. Um, I just ran four inch because I don't think I need five inch. I'm not running that much power and it gives me, um, it's, less expensive and easier to find. Um, I basically used a 
diesel exhaust to make all this and then I this is just some heat wrap to protect those wires but they haven't gotten hot um, so downpipe comes down I wrapped it all it's a, it's raining today so that it's a little wet uh, and then it just runs underneath to a muffler and then out the side I'm using an MB RP turbo muffler straight through obviously it's an old truck it's kind of rusted it's just an old beater that I've had for my entire life. Um, I built this little air box out of mild steel. I'm gonna build another one out of aluminum as soon as I get my aluminum TIG welder. Um, and then Canon air filter. This is an elbow off of a diesel, uh, like semi truck. Um, so that's most of the hot side, pretty easy. Um, I mean, if you can weld, you can build this. It's not hard, I just used stock manifolds uh, you just gotta preheat them and let them cool down slow so they don't crack so I basically just wanted this video to cover the the exhaust hot side um, so that it made sense to everybody uh, and kind of turbo mounting I you could do this and mount the turbo in the bed um, or underneath the frame rail uh, if you went to a single tank like I did, I went to a single 38 gallon tank for the fuel system to run my 450 liter per hour air motive pump. You could mount the turbo where the midship tank was. There's a lot of room once you remove that tank um, if you didn't want to mess with your engine bay. And I imagine that would work just fine. Uh, you just have to worry about your oil. Uh, my oil feed line's coming off the rear of the block where the sensor is, and then the drain line, um, you can kind of see it that braided line there runs down um, and just into the tank so I welded on a, a bung to the tank um, I mean sorry to the oil pan uh, so it just drains right into there you can have any of your stock manifold and run your you, you need two driver side manifolds Drivers, you leave one stock manifold running backwards on the driver's side, and then you take the other driver's side manifold and flip it around and put it on passenger side so it's pointing forward. Then you chop the bottom off. So I don't have the piece that I cut off there, but chop it off, put an elbow so that it runs back and up, weld that guy on. You're going to want to block off this. This has already got a plug in it, but if you didn't have that, you could weld a plate on over the top of that. Hold up those holes there if if you don't figure out something else to do with them. Um, or you could just leave them. I don't even know if you need to weld them. You just, as long as both ends of these are blocked off and there's no leaks, um, you could probably just leave them. If you're using the earlier manifolds like I chose to do then you don't have to worry about any of that all you have to do is block off the EGR um, and you're good to go so you'd block off the EGR on both sides because you're running two driver side manifolds so for my next video I plan on doing uh, kind of an overview on the fuel system I'm gonna break down these videos uh, in each component so that somebody could you know know how to build the exhaust build the the hot side build the cold side build the fuel system what parts to use so that they could do this um, very similar I'll go over my fuel rails that I made um, injectors fuel pumps all the different components that I kind of learned along the way hey guys thanks for watching uh, please remember to share subscribe and like the videos so I can keep doing this. Uh, I'm enjoying making these and I think that they'll be helpful to people along the way if they're trying to do a build like mine. And I'd like to do another build. So if this helps me make that happen, that'd be awesome. Um, so please subscribe and share the videos and see you next time.